So we have just made it through the second week of the carnivore diet. And I just wanted to give you a little bit of a review on how it's going. I'm doing a six week challenge where I've seen how the carnivore diet affects my strength and my fitness. So I'm doing lots of squatting, lots of bench press, uh, and lots of running. And I've done some measurements at the start of that six week period, like I've tested my back squat, I've tested my bench press, I've tested my five kilometer run. There's other things I've tested well, but they're the main three that I'm focusing on. I'm working the hardest towards improving. Uh, and at the end of the six weeks, I'm interested to see my results, see if I am stronger, see if I am fitter. So that's why I'm doing this. So in these last two weeks, I've eaten pretty much nothing but meat, eggs, bacon, and butter, and a little bit of cheese. But only a little bit. The first week, you know, it was difficult. I felt some of the benefits, but it, it felt like a challenge. It didn't feel the easiest to do. It felt like I had very low energy at times because I've got caffeine out as well. And that was quite a big part of my life. I drink coffee every day. I had energy drinks. And looking back now, it's evident to see how unhealthy they are for you. Every now and then, I'm sure they'd be fine. But I fell down that trap of, I drank coffee every day, three or four cups a day. Uh, I had energy drinks as well to try and keep my energy up. But my tolerance just must have built up against that caffeine. And it ended up just being like a sharp hit of energy and then just disappearing straight away. If anything, making me more tired. So I think I'm very happy that I've got caffeine out of my diet now. Yeah, and the cravings were quite difficult. Not horrific, but a few times where I could have eaten sugar. But onto the second week and I'm feeling much better. A lot of them cravings have disappeared and I haven't. It's only every now and then where I kind of get that thought, oh, that would be nice. One of the biggest benefits I've seen so far has been my energy levels. I've never felt so good and alert. I just, I feel sharp. I think that's the word I'm looking for, sharp. My focus is like nothing I've ever experienced before. I can just concentrate entirely on whatever I want my mind to focus on. I used to be a serial napper in the day. I used to have to go for a nap most days just because I felt so tired. Whereas I don't think I could physically go for a nap now. Like I'm too awake. And even right up until the moment I get to bed at night, I'm wide awake and I put my head down on the pillow, close my eyes and I fall fast asleep straight away. I sleep straight through the night, no problem. It's very, very strange feeling. I can't put it into words how strange it is but how good it is it's so different to what I'm used to and how I've felt my entire life it's very very good but very strange and I, but I do like it it's good along with that energy my workouts have been so good as well I, I've just felt like I have endless energy and I, I've not needed to stop at any point I've done CrossFit for years, so I've done high intensity training. I do a lot of running, and when I get in from a run, I'm just ready to go again for another workout. At times, I've really struggled motivating myself to work out just because of how tired I felt. It just felt like the session wouldn't be that great, so I didn't do it. I would just skip a session, and it wouldn't really bother me. Whereas now, I've got all the energy in the world to train. I haven't wanted to miss a single session in these two weeks. And I've loved that because I love training. Sometimes before training, I will not want to do it. And I'll just be lethargic and not do well. And then after training, I get this kind of high afterwards. And I just think, oh, why didn't I want to do that? It's so good. But I don't I don't have that lack of motivation for training anymore. I just want to train. And I love that because I know I love training. But it's always been kind of like a back and forth with myself where I have to convince myself to train. So that's a massive positive in my eyes. My training's come on loads. And on top of that, my recovery, I don't get sore anymore. I used to get really bad DOMS after certain workouts. Say I went for a 5K run. I wouldn't be doing anything for the rest of the day. I couldn't do anything. Just my legs, my ankles, my knees, my hips would be so sore. If I deadlift on one day, I'd be 
be sore for days afterwards, but I've got no aches and pains whatsoever. A lot of them have gone away. Another benefit I've noticed is my strength. I feel so strong. I've not felt weaker in any way whatsoever. Maybe day one or day two, I felt fairly weak, but that was because I was coming through kind of some withdrawal symptoms. I felt weak then, but since then, I've just felt like I've got stronger and stronger and stronger with every session I've done. I'm very excited to see the results after the six weeks. I can't really think of any more positives. The only negatives I've come across are just the cravings and that fitting into society. We're going to Claudia's parents for the weekend uh, and we're having to take our own food and we're going to cook our own food while we're there. See, that's, you know, that's one of the only downsides I see to this diet is that the rest of the world isn't doing it. So there's going to be times where it's going to be quite difficult to follow, but you've got to do what's right for you, you know? Not what's right for everyone else. And if you live by that, you're going to live a much happier, healthier life. But I think the carnivore diet as a whole should just be a way you live your life. And then when a situation arises that you feel like you want to go and kind of join in with people, that's fine. You do that. But really monitor how it makes you feel. We are doing these six weeks strict. We aren't breaking. Uh, we won't be having anything that isn't in, on our carnivore list. After the six weeks, we will be kind of testing other things. Like we go on holiday straight afterwards, I'm sure I'll have a beer. Uh, and I'm very interested to see how I readapt to that kind of food and drink in my diet. If you're interested in knowing if I get stronger or fitter on the diet, like I said, I've tested on day one and I'm gonna test at the end of six weeks to see if I do get stronger and fitter. Please follow along, do subscribe.